Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and I want to talk to you for a minute about themes uh, and templates, of course, inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. The, uh, when, you f when you first get it, you upload a theme and you see there's a whole list of themes and you're like, oh man, I want to upload all the themes because I want to be able to use every single theme there is. Not really understanding what uh, themes really are. Certainly, I can, I'll speak for myself, that's definitely what I did. And in fact, in this workspace right here, I uploaded six different themes. The problem with that comes in then is how do you know which one of the pages, which one of the templates is associated with each one of the themes and you don't because everything is named example something 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 so if we come up here and we just search for the word lesson you're going to see here uh, these were two that i had cloned and made my own but there's one two three four five different lesson templates here all with exactly the same name so the only way you can possibly figure it out but well maybe here let me see we got funnel hub framework anchor wave copy of that same one here's one for launch boss but you can't really tell from the names you can't really tell from the urls which one of the themes it really goes to so these are all the lesson templates which one of these lesson templates is associated with each one of the themes because I uploaded six of them into here. I don't know why there's only five showing. So what I did in one of my workspaces, just because I just was getting frustrated with this, I came in and I said, okay, I've already got a whole bunch of pages uh, loaded up in here. I should say I had a whole bunch of themes loaded up in here. So I came into the themes in here. And again, let's search on the word lesson. And what I did is I just numbered them one, two, three, four, five. Okay, great. Now when I go in to edit one of them, let's just uh, click on this here. I go to edit it. And we're going to see once it gets done loading up. Uh, wait, that was the home page. So let's come in here to course home lesson page and it should show here now one example courses etc etc because I put the one in front of it but again how do I know which theme that is associated with without going into basically every single one of the pages and looking at it and saying what is it so here's what my suggestion would be now that I rambled on long enough what the problem is is come in here and I just created this new workspace here and I'm calling this my courses workspace. And uh, so then we're gonna come in and what I did is I set up just a singular theme. I did just the hero theme right here. And then what I did after I set that up, I came in to the pages and I went to my themes and I renamed every single one of these. I put hero theme in front of it. Now, if I want to add a second theme in here for some reason, but what I'm really finding out is you only need one theme. You don't need two themes in here at all because you can make copies of all these pages and make them look like whatever they want. You really don't need to have a secondary theme on, uh, well, at least I don't think you do at this time, but we're obviously still very new. We're only about a month into ClickFunnels 2.0. But either way, I renamed every one here. So if you did upload a second theme, then just come in and it'll say in this case here, it would say example member login template page and you would just change that to the name of the theme. Another one of the themes is dark theme or something like that. So you could just name that dark theme and then you will always know going forward exactly what you are looking at here. So now if we go into this one and we go to customize and we're going to end up here first on the home page. So we have hero theme home page. We can go to the customer center and we know we are the hero theme uh, customer center page and we'll come down here to our lesson page and home hero theme courses, uh, what does it say here? Uh, lesson template page. So each one of them is very, very clearly marked in here. And then let's say we wanted to make a bunch of different lesson templates all we would do then is we would go into that lesson page inside of here. We come into our lessons. We come to our themes. Let's just type in the word lesson again. We will find this. And then what we can do here is if we want to make an additional template, then we can start changing the names. First off, we come over here and we would clone it. And then we would say, you know, hero theme, 
such and such page, such and such lesson page, hero theme, you know, lesson page number two, hero page, lesson template number three, I think I said theme. So you make, you know, you want three different templates, you can create three different templates. But again, I would leave the hero theme in the beginning, and it'd be template one, template two, and then template three. So I think that's a good way to keep this straight, because otherwise you're going to end up like me, and you're just going to have a mumbled up bunch of garbage in here, and you're not going to be able to tell what the heck is what because there's so darn many of them and they're all just named examples so that's all i got if you got any questions just let me know